Hello everybody and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this cute little ghost uploaded by Narna. Now I have personally printed over 10 of these little ghosts. They are absolutely wonderful and everybody in the office seems to love them. So uh, I'm probably going to keep printing them. But today I'll teach you how to actually print this model. First thing we should do is we should look at the developer notes, see if they have anything special to say uh, for the printing settings. And it looks like here everything looks pretty basic. We should have no rafts, no supports, a resolution of 0.1 all the way up to 0.2, any, anything between those ranges, and an infill of 15%. So that's simple enough. After we're done reading that, let's go over here to Thing Files, and here we have a bunch of little files we can print. Now, I'm going to teach you how to print the basic one, which is Ghost STL. But it looks like they also uploaded a Ghost Fixed. I believe this is just an updated version, so let's go ahead and just download the most updated and recent up-to-date uh, model by clicking this blue download button. Then once it's finished downloading, we'll click on here, show in folder, and we'll drag this STL all the way into our slicer, which in this case is Cura Slicer. Once the model's finished loading in, you should have a cute little ghost here. Now, the first things you should do is figure out what height you want this at. Because as it is right now, it's roughly one inch high. Now for me, that's a little bit too small, and I want it a little bit bigger. I want it to be 2.5 inches in height. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on the model. I'm going to go down here to the second tab, which is scale. I'm going to make sure uniform scaling is checked. And then under this Z dimension, this is how high you want it. Now this uh, unit is in uh, millimeters. So... If you want to figure out what that is in inches, just go to Google and search up inches to millimeters. For me, I want 2.5 inches, which should be roughly 63 millimeters. So I'll type in 63 there and then press enter. And that's gonna scale up my model, which is exactly what I want. Next, I'm gonna go over here to profile and click on this tab to select the layer height. The developer recommends 0.1 to 0.2. So for me, I like quick and easy prints. I'm gonna do 0.2. If you want to do 0.1, that's going to give you a much finer print and a much more uh, crisp and clean print. So do whatever you like there. Now, if this pops up here, click on Discard Changes because we don't want to use the same settings that you used for your previous print. We're going to use brand new settings for this one. Next, we're going to go over here to this Infill tab. Click on there. Infill Density, we're going to set that to 15%. This is basically how much material is on the inside of the model. So we're going to set that to 15. Click again to close it up. For supports, we're going to make sure that this is unchecked. We do not need supports on this model. So make sure that is not selected. Next, build plate adhesion. We also do not want any adhesion for this model. So make sure this is set to skirt. And once you're done with that, we are good to go. All I have to do now is press this blue slice button and give it a few seconds to slice up. And once it is done slicing, you should be given a time estimate of 4 hours and 2 minutes. And you'll also be given an estimated filament usage. For me, it's 37 grams of filament. Now, next, you preview the print here. Always take a look, just to make sure there's nothing weird or funky going on. And everything looks pretty good to me. So, lastly, you're going to save the file and send it over to your printer for printing. Once the model's finished printing, you are completely done. There's nothing else you have to do, so simply enjoy your little ghost.